Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. So. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week three. That's true. It's week three. So, uh, I'll start off. I went on three. Embarrassing. Wasn't even close. Sucks. But you know what? I get these out of the way early, which is good. Get them away. Out of the, get them out of the way early for a successful long road of the season. All great betters do exactly that. They lose early. They go over early, and then they just dominate the rest of the year. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't a good week for you. Oh, and three. Listen, like you said, you want to get them out of the way now. Yeah, that's uh, all. But you do have a losing record right now. Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. So it's not that's good. Fine. My uh, myself, I'm three and three. Not a great week last week. One and two. First two games, just they were trap games. I should have known they were public picks. I, I debated it before the show, and I didn't listen to myself. Shabba shabba run. I didn't listen to myself. But I did have a big lock. Two no on big locks. So hopefully. Um, You've been betting the big locks, and you know maybe you, you, you use two units on big locks. Who knows? Maybe you should you do. use two. You, that's Always whole, use two. It's literally the whole point of a big lock. Yeah. You bet Unless bigger we tell on you it. otherwise when we say five units. But listen, I so think I, I may have a I may, I may have a one million unit play on my big lock this week. Oh, this don't don't do that. Don't do that to the people. <laughs> we got another great week for you coming up, though. Putting last week behind us, moving ahead to. My first pick of the show, we got the Colts, we got the Titans, minus four and a half, and taking the Titans, minus four and a half. It's simple, uh, lock it in. Derrick Henry is back. We saw him last week just absolutely eat, dominate, uh, crush, uh, fuck, uh, uh, slap, a spit, whatever you want to use. He just did it to the, the Seahawks defense, just all over them, right? Yeah, I mean, there was nothing in those those verbiage words that you use that I can disagree with. Tannehill is f***ing and slapping. Tannehill is back. He's got his groove going again. This is what we needed to see from the Titans. And, uh, Julio looked good, too. Yeah, sure. Julio looked good, too. I'm just saying. There's but also, good. there's this, this other thing, this other, this, this other team that's going to be in this game. They're called the, the, the Indianapolis Colts. They're away, so the Titans are at home. Also, Wentz has, like, two broken feet. His like legs are fucked up. He's like Ace Ventura uh, in with the, the spears in his legs. Ah! Yeah. Ah! 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 All right, all right, all right. All right. You know, like yeah, that, yeah, you know yeah. that scene? Yeah, yeah, we got it. It's, so, it's very funny. Um, scene. Was mine better? Uh, I don't think it was. Ace Ventura too. Ah. Uh, uh, By the way, Carson Titans. Wentz gives redheads a disgusting name. Titans minus four and a half. Lock this in. It's really, it is simple. It's it's not even. Once a fucking eagle loser, always an eagle loser. All right. Well, you were just talking about the bitch slap that uh, the Seahawks took by freak athlete Derrick Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who, which team Derrick Henry doesn't play for? 31 others? Yeah. Well, the Vikings are one of those 31 others. And I'm going to take the Seahawks minus two and a half going to Minnesota. Ooh. They're in the dome. No. Is it a dome? I don't even know if Minnesota's a dome anymore. It's, well, it's still I, dome. I think it's the option. Oh, they got the roof Maybe now? they have a yeah, roof. Yeah, yeah, Because I know they played that year or two in the outside. Yeah, like whatever. The, the ceiling really is the roof. Stupid. The ceiling is the roof, yeah. yeah. So, I think the Seahawks are a better team than they showed last week. They got absolutely slapped, fucked, uh, what else? <laughs> Destroyed. W- whatever the case. Oh. Dalvin Cook is a very good running back for the Minnesota Vikings. However, he's very banged up. Very banged up. And I think Russell Wilson, off a miserable loss at home, goes into Minnesota. Pete Carroll, they take they take their will from Minnesota, who I do not think is a very good team. This is barely even an away game, too. It really, it, like, please. It's not a big deal whatsoever. I think the Vikings are vastly overrated for a few years now, and I believe I've said that on record. Their defense isn't what it used to be. Kirk Cousins is whatever he is. Banged up Dalvin Cook. Give me the better quarterback, better coach, the better team on the road. Two and a half. Hate, hate the road dogs, uh, the road favorites like that. But I like this spot. Seahawks minus two and a half. Lock it. The fuck. 
in. All right, a little comeback game for the Seahawks, a little bounce back game for Seattle. What do we bet on? Comeback games and revenge games. I like it, but my only concern is, are you at all worried about the Vikings in a must-win game here needing to get a win? No, they suck. I mean, they're own too, so yeah, yeah they, they kind of do suck, but they, they also need to get a win. I don't really give a shit. They right. should have won their first two, and they lost. All right, you're right. Speaking of two, I'll give you my second pick. We got the Packers at the Niners plus three for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Did I read that right, guys? You're going to get Aaron Rodgers at plus three. Wow. He doesn't even have to win the game. He will because you know why? This is an RRG. Revenge game. No, no. Rodgers revenge Rogers game. revenge game. And for those young folks out there that go, Max, our animal, he, he never, never played. played on the Niners. Yeah, well, he wanted to. And you know what they said? Fuck you, Aaron. He said, fuck you. We're taking Alex. Where's Alex Smith now? Dead. Uh, well. Oh, no. yeah, guy. Sorry. He almost... Sorry. Well, yeah. He almost was. I mean, so. a little insensitive. Touchy, but. touchy subject. But here's the real facts. Here's the real cold hard facts outside of the Rodgers revenge game. That, Ike. We got that. um, the 49ers played the Eagles last week. The 49ers put 17 points up against the Eagles, and the Eagles only scored 11. Uh, neither of those teams are Aaron Rodgers. Neither of those teams have Aaron Rodgers. That's a better one. Devontae way. Adams has zero touchdowns this season, guys. Is zero touchdowns this season. What makes you think that's going to continue? I don't think it's going to continue. He's going to go nuts. He's going to go nuts against the Niners. Aaron Rodgers is going to go nuts against the Niners. 49ers. I'm really worried. Drafted about Alex Smith over him. And that's it. So now you take the Packers plus three. This is such a lock. I was going to make it my big lock, but I said, nah, I'm going to do a different one. Packers plus three. Before I get my next pick, I really want to go on record. I... Um I'm very concerned about his breathing. For me? Yeah, he doesn't breathe well at all. You should see him before the show. It's, uh, it's a mess, and I'm a little worried. Fucking Gandolfini, baby. Yeah, that's he's dead. I got like 20 years then, that means. Well, I want to see you around for a lot longer if I make it around 20 <clears throat> years, because apparently my grandma doesn't think so. But anyway... Yeah, hold on. Before Snacks gives a second pick, Snacks grandma before the show, we were just about to film. Literally. And she called to uh I'm gonna sum this up. Just um, yeah. she called to basically tell him to start taking vitamins because she's worried about him. Yeah. That's she, the sum of it. She had a dream that I was like really Now we don't need to go into sick but and dying. Snacks grandma just called him to say, Hey, listen, you unhealthy bitch, start taking some vitamins. Yeah. All right, give she's, you, she's uh, a great woman. She's give a great us your woman. Second. Yeah, she sounds so amazing. She's Probably, but you, no, maybe not. No, maybe not. She's an amazing woman. I All do right, want so, to try her raviolis, so, though. So, oh, oh, yeah, you do. So, I, we, we, were, we were an over show. We like overs. Yeah. No one likes betting under, but I saw the number, and I saw the two teams playing. I saw where it was. I saw the coach and, and the quarterbacks, and I was like, I, I don't see how this goes over. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the under, 42 and a half, New Orleans, and New England. The Warrens is going to New England, where it's not cold yet or anything. I don't trust Jameis Winston. You got a Bill Belichick-led New Orleans, uh, New England defense who just knows how to game plan for a quarterback. Then you got Mac Jones on the other side. Mac Jones doesn't throw the ball down the field. Josh McDaniels and that coaching staff has has him dinking and dunking and dinking and dunking. Their scoring drives are averaging eight minutes a clip, and they're not scoring that much. So I think in this moment. There's not going to be a lot of scoring in this game. I, I could see 17-14, literally that close. I could see 20-17, 20-16. I see a low-scoring game in Foxborough between the Saints and the Patriots, and I'm going under 42 and a half. And by the way, I just want to say, I hate the fucking pick because I hate unders. I hate unders. But the eyes tell me, the eyes tell me. So, wait, you're taking an under? I'm taking the under. All right, I... I didn't. I just heard. Well, you start. I said I'm taking under forty two and a half. And I, I just said, heard the start and of I said, the pick, I, and then I said I hate. I said I hate. With, we're an over show. I hate show. to play we because we're an over show. Yeah, yeah, we're an over yeah, show. Okay, I get it now. But I like it. I like it. So what the eye see goes to the heart. I can't really see my heart. I can look at it through the outside, but I can't see in it. But the heart is telling me what the eye see, and the brain is configuring what I should see. Forty two and a half under defensive battle. And the Saints literally just got, like, piss-pounded by the Panthers, who's not even as close to as good of a defense as the Patriots and Bill Belichick. So, 
Under. Under, under, under. That was a, uh, that was a fluke, but uh, all right. You think so? Good pick. Good pick by Snacks. We'll see. He did go in three last week, so who I knows? Did. Yeah, I suck. Um, I have not been keeping track of these. Maybe Ike knows the results. I'm pretty sure mine lost last week. I think Snacks hit. But let's take it to uh, the other studio for lost. the underdog play of the day. <laughs> take it away, Snacks and Animal. All right, welcome to the Underdog Play of the Day presented by Underdog Fantasy. You can head over to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use code BDG. I don't know if you get anything, but you might. Uh, I'm going to give you my pick. You go to the Pick'ems, and if you pick it, you'll pick this one. It is Jared Goff, 17.75 fantasy points. We're taking the over. Of course we are. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go with a quarterback, too, who is much maligned and... uh Going against shit defense, Daniel Jones, who I have no bias towards, over 20.05 fantasy points. And if you uh, combine these, I think you get 3x. Oh! Wow. I have 3x's. <laughs> in, the back, la- in the last month. Back to you, Snacks and Animal. All right. Uh, those are the underdog plays of the day. I don't know what the record is on those officially. I guess it's probably they probably all lost because if you if you do like parlay them, then they all lose because that's what happens. But uh, yeah, you know it's whatever. Oh, you hear that sound? No. Just one time, I would hope that you would hear it. There it is again. Wait a minute. Well, that's the train. Shake no, that water out. Shake that water out. I did spend a lot of time at the Jersey Shore. Oh, oh, there it is again. Got it. I think. Got it. I think that, that means. It's coming from that way. Yeah, I think that means it's time for the big locks. That was, that was a clean strike. That was a clean strike. All right. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you really need the co- ah, there you go. There my, you and go. my card. And my card. All right. It's time for the big locks. I'm 2 0 on my big locks. I am a sharp. It is simple. And here's the pick. We got the Eagles at, you heard that right, at the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Minus three. We're taking the Cowboys. It's simple. Here's why. Don't say animal number one. Just don't do it on my big locks. I'm 2 0. But here's the cold hard facts. This is the first game at home for Dallas this year. This is their home game. This is a home game. Listen, they had a shootout with the Bucks, who are a solid team. They beat, they beat the overrated. They beat the Chargers when they were dogs. So uh, the Eagles, they they put up eleven points against the Niners. They, they put up thirty against uh, who they play week one. Atlanta, Atlanta, great who's, team. Who's doggy at doo doo? So here's the, here's the deal. Take the Cowboys minus three. Get your six shooters ready and get ready to party. I got my shooter right here. You're not going to take that, are you? Oh, I am. It's so gross. Oh, it's water. That's not water. That's water. That's not water. That's, I don't even smell That's the it. Cowboys minus three. At home. Big lock. Lock it in. That's it. Yeah. Oh, you can parlay yeah. all three of these picks for plus five sixty four. Yeah, that's uh, that was pretty good, and I don't disagree. So what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm just gonna make a wardrobe change, if you don't mind, for my big lock. Can they see me? Probably not. Now they can. <laughs> not that they can. Yeah, you did there. I mean, they know what you're doing. We, we know. Everyone knows. Yeah, that's right. The New York Giants are my big lock. Minus three of the week. And you know why? It has nothing to do with on-the-field performance. On Sunday, today, tomorrow, whenever the f*** this comes out, The Giants are retiring their first number in years. In years. And it's this guy, my hero, Eli Manning, number 10. Gets raised to the rafters. No other NY Giant will ever wear this number again. So if you're going to tell me this dog shit football team, which I agree, can't win 
for this Messiah of a man, Messiah Manning that I called him his whole life, 16 years, never missed a start until they decided to play Geno Smith, which made no sense. However, however, <laughs> he's going to be in the building. When he's in the building, mystique happens. And when mystique happens, that means the team he played for covers the spread. It doesn't hurt that the Giants offense finally found a rhythm against a very good Washington defense, and they're playing a, a doggy doo doo sh whatever you said, Atlanta defense. The Giants are going to f destroy this team up and down the field, left and right, north and south, east and west, every fucking which way. The Giants are going to f kill them. Minus three, New York Giants, big lock, Eli Day. Happy retirement, Eli. I love you. And ladies and gentlemen, that's Bagels and Locks. Thank you for watching, and we really appreciate the support. Uh, <sighs> uh, yeah, that's... Uh, what did that hit? No, you're good. Didn't hit anything. It's not that strong. It's pretty cool, though. It's not that strong. It was pretty cool, though. That's, uh, those are the picks. If you uh, got picks, comment them below. What the fuck did I normally say? Oh, well, I did the thanks for watching. Bagels you threw me off. Yeah. You well, threw you me off. The, you were on the ground. I was breathing. getting you up. You were on the ground, breathing heavy. I, I was got a little getting worried. up. I was helping I you. Was, I thought this was the end. I was helping I you that was the end. with your big lock. Yeah, you did great. Be considerate. And I was being considerate, Don't be like trying him. to help you. Be considerate. Go comment below with your locks of the week. And uh, please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. That's the show. Bagels and Locks.